Hey, what's up guys? Malt here, and um... Let's find out where the rest of this mansion goes. We finally got through the elevator, and we just got here. So basically we know nothing about this floor yet. Love seat. I'd love to take a seat, but I have to find Dad. Okay. New note added. Is this just another, uh, yep. Gee. I realize some of these have multiple pages, so even if you guys have been like pausing to see these notes, I don't think I've really been showing you the entire thing. So, uh, oops. Oh wait, oh we've been there before. Okay, right, let's go through this door first. Hmm. I'm just making sure I still remember the controls, but what is that over there? Something weird? No, that's just a pot. Oh, no. Another note. Darby O'Halloran. Hey, we were talking about Darby before. All right. Um, okay, there's still more in this direction. Up and down to climb stairs, but just want to make sure there's anything there. Oh, ghost nearby. Hey, ghost. You're pretty. Flair de Rue. Well, Flair La Rue, the one that we've been getting a lot of notes for, apparently. Oh, I get okay, you know what? Those notes will probably really explain all the details behind each ghost. I wonder how interesting that'd actually be. I'm really curious about it. Not that I would read, like, ten pages of lore, but might, I might do it, like, off-camera. Oh no, I've lost it. It's as, as though a part of me is missing. Please, little girl, help me find it. Help me find my lost love letter. Wortham's words always work so well to soothe me. So you're one of Wortham's lovers? Her, or her only, his only lover? Or I don't know. I don't know what to expect, but we gotta look for a... New diary entry. Oh, that's important. I met this lady who won't stop crying. Her name is Fleur. I think she might be French, but I'm not sure. Her accent is hard for me to figure out. She keeps telling me she lost some sort of love letter. She's very upset about it. I think she's being a little overdramatic, to be honest, but I guess I'll help her. I really don't get why girls get so crazy over love letters. It seems a little silly to me. That's a little judgmental, but alright. Move the dresser. Is that something useful? Why can't I move this? Let me just take it with me. Maybe it's an important dresser. Oh, there's, a, there's literally something there for me to put the dresser on. I totally knew that. Where's this love letter? Hmm. Okay, there's a ladder down there. We got a door here. We got this guy. Chef Smeraldo. What a name. Found a knife with blood all over it one day. Oh, you mean that one that's in your eyeball? Yeah, it's definitely a blood. I didn't think I knew where that blood came from. Figured it was from the kitchen, so I left it there. Yeah? Did you? I don't... I don't see one in here. Stove top. Ugh. This is not what a kitchen is supposed to smell like. Cupboard opened. Ooh, the knife! Give me that. Give me... Give me that knife. Now kill. <laughs> Alright, fine. I guess we won't kill. The knife has been used on something, or someone. Definitely someone. If the, if my two options are something or someone, I don't think a thing would have blood on it. Unless it was like a packet of blood. So maybe it was used on something. Hmm. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I unlocked the door? With what? What did I have to unlock that? The key- the knife? Or- oh wait. Oh, was it a one-way locked door? Oh, I remember being here. Isn't this back to the main foyer? Yeah, it is. Cool, we got a shortcut. So we took the elevator all the way up and came all the way back down to do that. But now we have a way back, so we know we're gonna be doing some backtracking of sorts. All right, we gotta go down here then, see what's up. Wine cellar? Pick up the note, oh. More Fleur La Rue, we almost have her entire story. Almost. Wine rack. Oh, look at all that wine! Mom would sure love it here. Why, did she have a crippling drinking problem or something? 
Because I don't know if we want to be encouraging that. Okay, was the only thing down there a note? Was that the only thing of notable value? Okay, where... Oh, there's some doors I have not checked yet, right? I'm pretty sure there's some... Oh no, I also haven't gone right from the uh, elevator. So this whole side could have just been to get that shortcut in the note. Which is cool. Made some progress. And also to meet Fleur. Who seems very important, because now we know what to do once we find a love letter. Because if I didn't find her already, then I would have been kind of confused, I think. Be like, oh, a love letter, but... But why? What does it mean? Alright, um... Wait, what? Okay, wait, do we come through this door? Don't look at me, I'm asking you! Yeah, we did. Okay, yeah, because this is the elevator. This is the elevator, right? The one with the arches? Oh, wait, we can't even go this way. Oh, am I supposed to backtrack a bit to get the love letter? Okay, so I was gonna- I just went in a big circle, even though I think it was telling me to just come down here on its own. Oh wait, there's a ghost here now. Where? Why is my ghosty senses tingling? Huh? Do I just go outside? Is there a ghost outside the door? Oh? Wait, why? It's not glowing anymore. Why was my ghosty signal glowing? Hmm. Alright. I don't know if I have a hint to what I'm supposed to be doing. Was it in my diary? Wait, why are two of these blue? Wait, I've already done this. Why was that blue? So Darby de okay, so I know Darby departed. Which is cool. So I gotta figure out this love letter. Okay, did Fleur give me a hint that I wasn't really paying attention to? Ugh. Ugh, that wasn't an answer. That was me trying to sprint, I swear. Let's take the elevator again. Stairs are bad. I'm just kidding, stairs are fine. Wait, love seat might have a love letter? Nope. Thought my logic was sound, but apparently not. Okay. Was there- okay, I'm gonna guess there was something I had to do with my ghosty form at some point that I didn't actually do. Also, shoot, sorry guys. I actually have been realizing when I look through my VODs that I've been leaving my mouse on the screen a lot. And I know that's really annoying. I'm gonna try to remember that because I I honestly don't re don't realize that I'm doing that and that's really and I know that's really annoying for you guys. I'm gonna I'll be I'll be better about it. I just saw it and I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, should I give the knife to the um? Oh, I, I should have talked to the ghost again after I got the knife because he said he was looking for it, right? That's something I could have done. All right, let's see if that does anything. Maybe he'll give me a love letter for the knife. All right, ghosty boy. I had a knife with blood all over it one day. I don't know where it came from. Okay, you figured it was from the kitchen, so you left it here. But it probably wasn't. Okay, so that knife... Oh, should I give that knife to the wife? Wait, did I open this? Oh, no, I didn't. Because that wife was looking for, uh, like, proof of a murder, right? I think I remember something like that. Maybe that's why there's like a shortcut here to get back to that room. Cause then... No, it wasn't her. Okay, there's gotta be a reason why I was sent back here. So quickly as well. I just don't honestly recall if I needed the knife in anywhere specific. I might have... It's been like... A good few days since I last recorded, so I could be just totally forgetting something. Alright, well, if I'm lost for much longer, I'll definitely cut forward. Because no one likes to see someone being lost for a while. It's kind of frustrating, especially if you guys know what's up. Okay, so... Oh. I don't... You know what? Uh, there's one thing I could possibly think of with a knife. knife. A knife can cut things. Weren't there a bunch of things I wanted to cut? That I couldn't. Wait, the observatory? Was there anything? I remember there. I remember this place. Is there anything important here? I don't think there was anything I need to cut in here. 
I mean, she said mm -mm as well, because I tried to sprint again, but um, nothing changed here, right? Oh, wait, what the hell? Ghost! Ghost? Lay Rivers. I think I talked to you before. Um, I must admit, frankly, I'm shocked. It feels like I've been waiting around forever for my business meeting with Mr. Willows. The sun here is so bright, why am I just take a nap in it? And then he never woke up again. Yeah, I remember even making that same comment. Alright, so I guess this is useless. But yeah, there were places I needed to cut with a knife. But I don't remember where they were. Oh wait, this is one of them, right? Ah, oh! Would that break my knife? Is my knife gone now? Oh no, I still have it. So I can just cut a lot of things, right? Weren't there stuff in like the garden that I had to cut too? Potted plants. Mm -hmm. I feel like my dad had been hired to water these. Really. Go through door. Is that important up there? Oh, it is. Hey, a little key. I wonder who hid it in this vase. I don't know, but I stole it. Oh, is that good for the um, locked door, maybe? It seems kind of unrelated, but... Ooh, a skeleton. Let's see who's dead here. Oh, you got hacked into half. No, no, no. Oops, wrong button. Alan Wood. Yeah, I guess there's a lot of, like, roots and wood here. I was left with quite the chip in your shoulder when your parents died. Carry me to halt from my scholarly pursuits and run the family flower shop. It was only when my son grew weary of England that I wished to see his fortune that I left that dreadful career. And yet, here I am, back at it again. It feels like an eternity. Okay. Skeleton? Vines have been twined through the bones. Is that all I have to say about that? I'm not, like, creeped out or anything? Oh, that was the key for it was for? I can almost smell the leftover perfume. Oh! This has to be the, um, the love letter. We have been overlapping a bunch of note pop-ups. Okay, well that's convenient that I remembered that whole knife thing. But now I'm really- okay, there was somewhere that I had to- I know there was a place that I had to cut in the garden at some point, like... I kinda wanna check that out. But I just remember there's like friggin' ghosty arms, grabby arms in the garden. Where- where was it in the garden? Oh, I'm still spooked in here. Just gotta make sure I keep running, right? Where was Spooky Cut Place? Whoa! Do I need to cut anything here? I died. Let's not delay. Let's just run. I didn't expect to get doubled by like two of them right there. Dude, where am I? <laughs> I don't remember it being this big. It's gonna be much more annoying with all these enemies here now. Alright, well I better uh... Oh! Yeah! How did I run right to it? I swear I had no idea how to get there. Alright, what's here? Is there anything cool here? Fountain? Huh, a frog? Something here is alive? Amazing! Wow. Oh. What? What? Philo? No, I'm not a ghost. My name is Philo, and I'm no mere phantasm. Like you, I am searching for something. Who the hell are you? And why are you so out of place and cute? What is this? What is... What? Is this like an Easter egg? That I just don't understand? Creepy guy. 
See this guy around? He, I don't wonder who he is. He sure looks creepy. Yeah, that's my kind of commentary. All right, well, I guess I found whatever that was. Don't think there was anything else. The other place that I had to cut was like, was like um, the one that I had the dog break for me. So I think everything else here is worthless. Cool. I don't think there was anything else I had to cut with my knife, as far as I know. Could be wrong. Don't really know. But I'm going back to the mansion now that I have the love letter. Yeah. Alright, I'm back in the mansion now. I think the shortcut was here to get to uh, Fleur. Yeah. Just let me sprint, man. Why you gotta do this to me? Alright, Fleur is over here, right? Oh, thank you so much, Alana. You have no idea what this means to me. Please take a ring as a token of my appreciation. Wortham and I used to use it, use it to hide secret messages that could only be seen with it. But I don't need it anymore. You have helped me more than I know than you know, Elena. Goodbye, sweet child. I hope you've managed to find your father. So these guys all are very like uh, Wortham's ring. Oh, is that like a message I can only see because of Wortham's ring? Ah, oh, she's gone already. I was just getting to know her. Goodbye, Fleur. You are so lovely. Go to the wine cellar. Okay. So I can only see those as a ghost? I guess I go to the I go there and then use my ghost form again to see another message. I guess it's gonna be kinda hinted. But now I know there's gonna like gonna be secret messages in places now. That I won't see unless I'm a ghost, so now I'm gonna have to be paranoid to go into ghost form as much as I can and figure things out. Alright, there's another message. Code is 3123. Three. For what? For what? Even though she's a drama queen, I'm glad I helped Fleur find her love letter. I should have. Who would have known she and Wortham were lovers in secret? I don't think anyone. I've ever seen anyone so happy over something so simple. I hate to admit it, it's a little bit touching. She was so overjoyed. Wortham seems like a bad guy, but if he made her so happy at one time, can he really be that bad? It's hard for me to believe anyone is pure evil. I don't know. It just makes me wonder. All right, but um, space to move bottles. Oh, so like three, one, two, three. Oh, sweet. At least I wasn't stuck on that one. Where's this going? Bad people are here. Who are the bad people? More skitter man? Why don't we search ahead and see? It's an actual ghost. How far can I... Okay, I can't. Alright, it's not too bad. I just gotta run, right? There's the one in the cage. I just gotta make sure the other one doesn't eat me. But I don't really know what triggers them from... Triggers them eating me. I seem like I can just walk past them usually. Oh! Maybe I can move this in front of the... You can't move now, right? First try. I think that first one I fought was like glitched or something because I walked right through him. I'm sure there was another way to do that. I think I was supposed to do something to like block him in as well, but I didn't. I just kind of walked past him. All right. I've been wondering about evil lately. Where does it come from? Why does it look? What does it look like inside of a person? I believe I've now seen it firsthand. I saw flickering shadows moving about in cages, and I thought I was going crazy at first, but no. 
What I saw was real. I know it in my bones. I could feel the darkness that shone from these creatures and like some inverse sun, like a black hole. Those things make these things make me feel worthless, hopeless, and sad. I think they come from inside us. I think we all have these demons. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here anymore. I just want to find my dad. Oh, are we getting deep here? Are we getting deep here? Broken mirror. <laughs> Is there an unbroken mirror in this whole place? Somebody sure has a bunch of bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> All right, cool. At least you can still laugh. You're not really that depressed. You're kind of brave, honestly. You're a very brave girl, aren't you? Oh, there's a many. There's many floors to explore here. Sewing machine. What a cool old sewing machine. Spools of thread. Such a rainbow myriad of spools. So pretty. A note in a cage. Wow! Birdcage. So many birdcages. This must have been, must have been, This room must have been the most absolute worst to clean up back in the day. True. That's a lot of bird poop that you gotta deal with. Well, there wasn't really much in that room, but let's see what's on. Let's see what's down here. There's two ways to go down here. Let's go right first. Oh, there's a go oh, ghost child? Dollhouse? You are not a child. Marcy Devite. Young Master Marcus must eat. Yes, he must. I must find him so that he may be fed. Growing boys need their nutrition. I mean, nourishment, after all. So you want me to find a child that has gone missing and you're just standing here doing nothing about it. Ah, yes, you seem like a very professional uh, child carer. Okay. Anybody in here? Is there a child in here? This is easily the largest table I've ever seen. All right, who's here? Are you eating? Child? You're not a child. Reginald Kinsley. The evening's feast is soon to be served. Please do wait, Master Willows. We'll be along promptly. Okay. Master Willows is the child, right? Wait, did I already... It was the same ghost, right? I didn't miss one? Yeah, okay. Oh, there's a door over here, too. Oh, I unlocked the door? Okay, where does this one go? Is this the one to the kitchen? That would make sense! Alright, we got another shortcut back. This mansion sure is a mansion. Alright, not spacebar. Up! Alright, what's up here? Stairs and a door. Notes. <laughs> New note added. Bookcase. These aren't books. What a strange selection of items to be in a bookcase. Wow, what an excellent observation, friend. Oh, an actual fire running. Oh? Dad? Don't worry, I'm here to save you. Please, no! Um... My... Oh! Oi! What you doing to my papa? Where are them willows? Foolish girl. He's mine now. Don't you dare pull his soul out of his body. Cutscene. Not my amulet! You evil mother! You just straight up threw me out the window. Bro, did you just kill me? Right in front of my own father? Okay, now I kinda wish I went through all those doors instead of just rushing forward. I didn't expect something like that to happen. Is this really it? It, it hurts so much. Is this, is this it after all I've done? No, no, I can't give up. I can't stop. I won't accept this as the end. Now I'm starting to wonder, is there a, are there alternate endings to this game? I have to do it. I have to save my dad. If not me, then who? 
I'm the only one who can help. I'm just not going to give up. I'm just going to survive. Where the must have drained my amulet during the fight? I can't use any of my powers. I don't care though. I'm not afraid. I will succeed. I have to. There's something in the mud. Telescope filter. Well, after I got injured and, and fell, I guess I wrote something. I was beaten. I failed. This is something that I have to accept. Where them drained my amulet and now I can't use anything that Flying Hawk taught me. I feel so powerless to help, but I can't give up now. Dad was so close, I saw him. I could almost reach him. If only I could get a little stronger. No, I reject that. I refuse to give up. Not now. Not ever. I'm going to- I'm going to come- I'm coming for you- Yeah, I'm coming to get you, Dad. Where them better watch out. I hope I didn't- like, I hope I still get a chance to go through those doors I had just walked past. But telescope sounds like an observatory thing, so I feel like I need to go to the observatory. And see what's up with that. Things got a little interesting though. I didn't expect to have like an antagonist situation like this, but I guess I should have expected it a bit. Alright, telescope part. What do I do here? Can I put the telescope inside the observatory thingy? Does that help a lot? At all, I mean? Space to attach lens to the telescope. Oh, what is this? Plus up and down and select lines left and right to adjust. Am I trying to create... Oh, I'm trying to connect these two lines? What is happening? Why are... I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, are these all specifically controlling one line? Because... I don't really understand. How do I connect all these lines? Oh wait! Oh wait, look, there's a little picture here. Let me just create that. That makes more sense than randomly doing stuff. Oh! And we got a ladder. Secret ladders! That's the best kind of ladder. I can't even see ghosts anymore because my ammo doesn't work. They could just kill me right now if I like here. Is this a solitary crate? What it could be for? Ooh, that was a cool effect. Steam? I just walked through steam? That should have hurt. There's a ghost there. How did I... Wait, how would I do anything about this? I can't even hear them. How do I... Like, did I die to steam? Oh, they, there's a ghost up there. Oh, you can see them in the steam. You can't hit me if he's steaming, right? You should be coming back, right? What do I do? Do I just walk forward and die again? How did he get me from the ceiling? He was down there? Okay, this is actually kind of tough. I gotta look around to make sure I see him. Did I die? <laughs> I died on the ladder! Okay, I gotta I gotta see if he can kill me if I'm under the steam. Do I need to like rush over to the
I am so confused at what's happening. Where is he possibly walking right now? Does he jump off the ceiling? Is this crate for something? When is he gonna randomly kill me next? I hear him skittering. I need to get up this ladder. But I feel like he's camping the ladder. Like, look, this is probably gonna kill me. How do I get up the ladder? Got the note. Can I, like, use this crate? No. This guy seems to only spawn once I walk over here. You know what? Mmm, that's annoying. I don't understand. Am I missing something? Like, what is this? This is suddenly, like, difficult. I'm dying over and over again. <sighs> you know what? Let's figure it out in the next episode, guys. I think this episode's been running a bit. We got a lot of stuff going on in this episode, including a huge plot development. And it also basically was an entire chapter, so I guess I probably should have ended a bit earlier, but whatever. Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you guys are liking this video, uh, this series, please let me know down in the comments. Um, give me a like because that helps me a lot. And um, yeah, I guess look forward to the next episode. I feel like we're already like way more than halfway done this game. This game is supposed to be pretty short, so I don't expect more than a few more episodes to be honest. And then, then yeah, and then we'll see what happens after that. So hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.